Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix! Today I'm thrilled to show you a massive upgrade for this flagship synthesizer Phantom EX by Roland, the kind sponsors of today's video. With the Phantom EX update, Roland broke the walls between three products. A classic workstation, a powerful digital piano with dedicated sound engines such as V-Piano, a powerful standalone synthesizer with real-time controls and amazing sound engines such as the Zen Core and a lot more. So what's new? Roland are bringing not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six new expansions. And I recommend that you stay until the end because I am leaving my favorite new expansion for last. Click on the link below and find out more about the amazing Phantom EX update and hit that like button whilst you're at it. It really does help a lot. Let's go! One, ACB technology, analog circuit behavior made famous by such synths as System 8 or TR8 to recreate faithfully all of the behavior of the components of such classic synthesizers. You know, capacitors, resistors, envelope curves, all of that. Let's check out ACB Jupiter 8. Ha! Tack, tack. Pretty cool, huh? Look, look here. If you press on map, basically you've got the actual Jupiter 8. And guess what? If you move here, the filter, you see it moves there. But let me show you something really, really cool. It's the shimmer. Sickening. <laughs> I can do more. You see, there is a circuit mod. If I move this cursor now, it becomes old. Because it's imitating the behavior of the circuit, you can mess with those settings and you can make it sound like it's aging. Brand new. A bit older much older very very old i would keep it somewhere here probably which compared to pure goes like this Do you know what? I want to try some more sounds from ACB Jupiter 8. What have you got right there? Presets. Okay. Right? Thank you. 
I like that kiss more than I should have. Anyway. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use the shimmer for the rest of this video. <laughs> Next, number two, the ACB SH101. Here you go. Tap here, select the 101, and here we go. Parameter, look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Am I lucky or not? I'm very lucky. Six hours later. Do you understand why the phantom is the phantom? Have you just noticed what I did there with this filter control? This is a digitally controlled thing and you hear no steps. It's so precise I can play with it. <laughs> Next! Number three, New York Grand. Now, this is a special piano designed to emulate with supernatural technology a classic New York Steinway. Let me show it to you. Acoustic piano, artist's choice.
is this coming from? <laughs> just make that up. I just made that up, yeah. Cool. Yeah. When you have a good instrument that inspires you to play, you know, that, that, that's the thing. Because I'm, I'm, I'm vibing off of it. That, that's what happens. I mean, if I have to modify it to my usual liking, I would probably have more bass, which I can totally do. I like bass, but I like a little bit around the 100, yeah? You know, it gives me a little bit of, you know? I mean, this is a more classical type of, you know? But if you want to go like hard, right? A little bit of, you know, and also here in the high gain, you've got selected the 4000, which is a good choice because maybe I could even go on the 5000, probably. And then usually I like to cut the mids, for example, like this frequency. On a piano, I don't like too much, so. So, so this is a little bit more me, but without this uh, equalization, you know, more natural, more classical. But if I put my equalization, Number four, the mighty JD-800. Now, the cool thing about it, it, it's not just an emulation, it's an actual JD-800 with all the parameters and the classic sounds that you would expect, like... I don't really remember, but I just go by heart. It's just worth just for this sound. How cool is this sound? Sorry, I butchered it. So we have some very famous sounds, I think, on this one. Oh, Millennium. wailing guitar
I want to find out more about these sounds. question is why? One more sound. In fact, let me show you the effects on this thing. MFX. Facts. Yeah? You see? This is my favorite piano now, ever. You can, for example, put some phaser onto it, yeah? Right? But also, you can put like, uh, I don't know, maybe an enhancer? Right, and then check out, check out. You can drag and drop them and you can order it in any way. Isn't that cool? You have different effects here. Yeah? Next, number five, Enzyme. Now this is an incredible wavetable synthesizer in its own right. And it sounds like this. Right? Check out. Check out. Wave swarm. Okay, let's see what happens under the hood. Yeah? We've got uh, all the wave shapes here. Check out. Like that. Right? But then, check out what this is. Basically, you can uh, choose different modulations and they shape in crazy ways. Check out. And also, you can modulate the waveform itself. And last, number six, German concert for V-Piano technology. Yes, yes, yes. This is my favorite. Just go to V-Piano and there you go. German concert.
right? Now let's make it ours. Yes. So you go with parameter and you can see here that you have so many controls. Like the lid, you can, you can choose it to be closed, open, half open, check out. Or no lid at all. And then you can choose, for example, the resonance of the cabinet. The resonance of the board. Let's see. Right? So how about if we give it a bit of EQ?